I'm wearing a glove, I can't do it, but Um, welcome back to Mario Galaxy 2! Last time... Words. Last time we beat... We got... We beat all we can do currently, and Swing Big Galaxy, and got our first secret star. And beat the, um... Uh, minigame first try for it, which is like uh, really good actually, because that this star is an absolute bitch to get. This time, well, we're gonna be finishing right si right side down galaxy, breaking the laws of gravity, and doing another galaxy. Oh boy. We won't be finishing all of it because effectively it has a secret mission. Uh, um, it's another secret mission stage, but it also has what is pet not technically a comet mission, but might as well be be one. Also another chimp challenge. It's um okay, ba barely reached. It's kind of. Um, it's really great on the yeah, video game pad. Also, I'm pointing, like, to my left while having to face right to face the screen. I can't just put it right in front of me, I don't think. So, feeling very awkward, and I have to moving that back, which. Honestly, I might just do it anyways. Hmm. Feels a bit better. Oh, Captain Toad. We can actually get quite a few coins on the stage. Also, Ground Pound Switch tutorial. Oh yeah, I never talked about these enemies last time. Okay, aside from them, like, heading towards you. That's the one that's in crisscross. Uh, despite, you know, menacingly hopping towards you. Um, okay, the menace hop towards you, but on the top side, they're spikes, so you cannot hop on them, but if we switch gravity, they flip around, and now they're soft underbellies, and you are, um, vulnerable. Don't care. There's, there's a lot of coins. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. Right. Steep sub skill all comes all momentum from a jump. Along with changing. Okay, that time knockback actually kind of saves me. Don't fall down, you say. What about falling up? You say. <laughs> yeah. Don't fall down, you say. What about falling up? God damn it. Oh, my God. 
really more coins. <laughs> we don't need more coins, we'll get more than enough for our purposes later. Plus, we, I do know an infinite lives act point, which I will be showing off when we get to that galaxy in about, about a few weeks. Also, fun fact, crushing damage, like what was do, is an insta-kill. Case in point. Case in point. Okay, no, that, that, I actually think you can do that. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to th throw away a few lies real quick. Oh, so yeah, um, if you die while having coins, you do not keep your coins. I believe I mentioned that in, like, episode one or two. I have a right idea going, I'm just failing on the execution. Okay, I do actually need to long jump. When we get to like, low lives, I will actually do the level properly. But we're not at that point yet! We still have five lives. We get to two. Assuming I don't succeed before them. How okay. So this is how you're well uh, well. I'm pretty sure how you're actually meant to get that is by a uh, wall jumping and riding on swamps. But hey, I haven't done this before, so I see that as a win. Also, here's your actual fire flower tutorial. I can also break crystals. There's a certain rhythm you have to spin at in order to make it work. You can't just spam spam. Fun fact, you can actually walk on the edge here if you... you know. Do some weird sh shenanigan ganery. You can actually walk on the edges, but it's easier said than done. I believe there's actually a life on the side of one of these. But again, easier said than done. I think you actually can't need to. Do something like that from the green star. This is another area that was in a pretty annoying green star. If I'm remembering correctly. I remember a few of the area one green stars. And outside of that, I don't remember much. I also be on this side that uh, has the life. Yep. All the way at the end, there is a life, and this will allow us to skip the entirety of the rest of the stage. Woohoo! Whee! 
Do I need a little secret? No, I just get some of the more annoying sections of the stage and also get some extra star bits. Because, yeah, going into this thing is actually kind of... Going through this whole thing is actually kind of annoying. So we're not. Never mind. Game says otherwise. We got the star. We haven't checked out the bank toad yet, I just realized that. We've unlocked it last time, and we just never went to go do stuff or stuff with it. So anyway, it's our first galaxy completed. Kinda. If you notice. Silver crown. Not gold. You get gold star crowns. You need the green stars. Only gets unlocked. Once you beat the game. Be gone. He's just talking about uh, co-op. So, Big Toad. Give him star bits. He'll keep every any star bits from any save files you give him. Or if you're playing solo, I can still hold your star bits and try to get. I'll try and get more to add to your total. We start with a hundred, which is good. Um. This will make, honestly, not a lot of interest over every day. If you play it, go on, it will gain a little bit of interest if you talk to Bang Toad, I believe. Like, 13 star bits. Like, I've seen the most be 13 star bits. Not exactly worth it. But, okay, this is kind of important. I've already talked about before how you need 9,999 star bits in order to unlock the perfect run. I've already talked about that. However, <laughs> if you're a curse across all save files. But there are certain rewards for giving. Certain thresholds will have the Bangto chain outfits, and it will also give you one ups. Which one is. And the other one is, ooh, neat. Oh, we got a two up. Actually, that's one of the rare times we'll actually see a multi one up. A multi up. Actually, the only time you can actually see a multi up is via the bank toad. I think it reset the rewards. Reset on save. Save files, but it doesn't really matter because we lose all of our lives upon reset, anyways. So, uh, what's the point? Plus, there'll be much better ways of getting lives later. Much, much later. <laughs> anyways, welcome to Floppy Flop. I am not doing. I hear, hear me loud and clear. I am not doing transformationless. That is pure pain and suffering. You don't know. Transformationless is a game. It is a let's say challenge run. It's barely possible. Barely. All because of a simple gimmick. You have one frame to perform any grounded action on cloud platforms. One frame. Do you mind? I 
believe this game runs at like uh, 60 frames a second, so that's one the 60th of a second. Even if it, but even if it does run at 30 frames a second, that is still a 130th of a second crack. Without any cues. Yeah, I'm not doing transformation less. That that is a fool's errand. But yeah, we do have in, in this many episodes we now can show off and get another new power up. Yeah, I think really introduce these quick. Yeah, I'll get your first power up in uh, Galaxy One until. Well, Honey Hive, but that's only the bee mushroom, and then you don't get it anywhere else. Anything else for like? Oh wow! I mean, there's only one level with with most that has any power ups. So as a main gimmick, so again less. Not counting, you know, Rainbow Stars. Even that aren't get all that common. All right. Generally, if uh, something has a secret stage uh, on the first star, I'll be trying to go for the secret star because secret stars are often tend to be very, very painful to get for numerous reasons. Mainly because of the change. So, aside from like I'm grabbing star bits, you might think. Well, well, you got star bits to do the secret star because you're familiar with the secret stars in Galaxy 1. What? Uh, Hungry Luma Galaxy. And uh, Galaxy 1. Which requires star bits. Uh, star bits. requires stars. And then you see me doing this. It's like. You, I thought you said you don't care about lives. And aren't coins just used for lives and that's it? Oh, there it gets. It's there's a change. There's a big change. A quite drastic change. But before that, uh, I, I did mean to grab it, but I didn't. Does I'm gonna hit the water again, so it's not gonna lose immediately. This is Cloud Mario. Shake the rear mount to create up to three cloud platforms in thin air. I believe it also turns your physics a little bit floatier. So it's still pretty useful. However, that's a little fun. It also has standard attributes. Mm -hmm. However, if you touch water, you'll lose it. Not amazing, but it's better than not. We'll talk to you in a second. This sh should hopefully get us the last 20 coins we need. Yes! So there's not... So why do we need 100 coins? There's not 100 coins, Star, and this is one of the few galaxies yet. Yeah. Hungry Lumas. Non-overworld ones that lead to Hungry Luma galaxies. Require coins instead of... Star bits. But keep in mind, coins are limited, and you lose them upon death. They're not. These are kind of annoying to unlock for that very reason. I'm so hungry, I will give me 100 coins. They taste so good. I, I don't. Unless these are like chocolate coins before. I'm not big fan of chocolate. Um, I'm pretty sure solid gold isn't very tasty, but whatever you say, take it. Yes, I got a huge coin craving right now. Ah, uh, the shitty Wii remote my, uh, speaker. I forgot about you. I'm so, so full, how? I'm going to transform! Oh. This is probably one of the easier ones to get, as it's in the beginning and you tend to get a lot of coins. 
There's two different events that like multiple clues. Quickly. Also, prepare to see this a lot later in the game, because this level gets remade. Next. But, thankfully, once you unlock a Luma Galaxy, a Luma, a Great Luma Planet, you don't have to unlock it again, just like in Galaxy 1. Also, this level is not doable transformation. This part is not doable transformation unless. I don't think, anyways. Cloud's always actually kind of very busted. In like an overpowered kind of way, not in a jank kind of way. Right, it's only Star 1 that counts as unlocking the Star Flower. The. Not Star Flower, the, um. Crowd Flower in the ship, I believe. Every plan has its price. Search up Mario Canal Advance. Yep, no Cloud Flower. However, as much as we could go do Bowser right now, or Junior Bowser, it was it rotated to it. just like guys yeah, who rotate between Bowser Junior and uh, Bowser missions for the bo boss levels. Search for to Captain Toad's Brigade. I will not be as um, thorough at this point. Harried. Harried the platypus. How do you power your particles? Base? Based on what? I'm sure there's a little myth. You're telling me. Fried Miss Rice. Uh, I, I'm just remembering the, that, you know, misunderstand, like, quote unquote, misunderstanding. Video. Like, TFT. It's like. God. This is, this is a more. I, I, I say this every time I say something that, you know, random. Like, I'm not doing it because, well, so random, so quirky. No, this is just like, kind of how my brain works. This is, just, this is just how my brain works. That sometimes, randomly, I just think of something, like, silly. To, um, do. Ah, okay. I believe that it's time you'll have to do a triple jump. We haven't needed to do. Or we'll actually need to do still. At least one flower cloud for the comet metal. This is where you're supposed to learn that um, cloud flower will dissipate in water. No, if you don't fall into the water beforehand. Watch out! You're going to catch your buns! You're going to get your buns! Run! Run! 
There's actually quite a few starbits in the waterfall if you want to go grab them. That's very generous of that uh, hitbox. Time to skip a part of the level. Yeah, climb the tree. Or just using your fact that you have great up to three platforms literally anywhere to get up. Honestly, it's easier to do that than it is to actually do the level properly. I don't think we need Cloud Flower to get up there because we'll get a Cloud Flower right there. Yes, us! Some monkey with sunglasses challenged me to race. You go instead. I should. I should be in better shape. Uh, this captain's business is going to be harder than I thought. Also, it's just a lot right there. Don't, don't bother. You know, yeah, I despise you, Mr. Monkey Pants. Mainly because you have very annoying levels. Let's stretch my back. Ah, okay, we did. We're only gonna do two levels today. Wow. Whoa, it's you! Good work getting up here. They call me the Chill. Seems like you may be a worthy high climbing rival. Take this star. We'll talk later. This guy is annoying. Is a, yeah, I already talked about it. I already said what it is again. He, he, he has mini games. Annoying mini games. I didn't know we did do three levels because we did the Sicker Star, we did Star 2, and we did uh, Flip Switch Side Galaxy. So, try the captain. Comment until I'm locked. More money. More fuel for the fire. More fuel for the fire. I don't know why I started saying it like that. But I always, I, 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 it's just something I use in trying to my vernacular. Ha, ah, look at that. I see you brought back some kind of flowy souvenir. Okay. It's a cloud flower. Wow. That, we're, there sure is some weird stuff out there, huh? No, no, no. We don't, really? We don't unlock? God damn it. Yep, but really, we don't unlock it. Keep it right now. Confused head tilt. Yeah, face tracking isn't uh, exactly great. Yeah, I, I said this before shitty webcam. Inbuilt webcam. And I don't have, like, a problem with face ID. I don't need the world map. Whatever. <laughs> My brain's going on autopilot. Uh, until next time, everyone, when we tackle the Bowser stage. <laughs>